Hello friends, welcome to the Neotech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a project plan template in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this project plan template uh, wherein we are showing the total task of a project, total duration in days and here we are showing the total estimated hours and this is total actual hours and here we are taking the average estimated hours per task and it is average actual hours per task this is the total count by the priority and here we are showing the total task by the status so you can easily see how many is completed and pending and in progress or not started so here we are showing the estimated hours by the date so you can easily see the trend of the date and you can see the estimated hours by the team also at bottom we are showing the estimated hours by the task also now we will show you the data here in the data we have the task id and the task name and you can select the assign to from this drop down and we are showing here assign to team also as well as we are showing here start date and date then this is the duration we have put the formula and date minus start date this is the status priority estimated hours and the actual hours then here you can put some progress notes and the other notes also okay now you can use this for your project uh, tracking purpose and now i will show you how you can create this dashboard using this data sheet so what i am going to do here i will select this data and i'll copy this and then i'll go to the file new and will create a new spreadsheet from the scratch we will paste this data as value so go to the edit paste special and paste as value only now we can quickly format this so just uh, align this center and middle and take the light color border so let's say i'm taking this color and take this thin line and all borders font size take around 8 then select the top header and make this bold size 9 and fill some dark color let's say this one and font color take white color now you can use this convert to drop down chips this one also as well as you can convert one by one also so let's click here to quickly convert that or alternatively you can convert the assign to name just select right click and go to the drop down so it will create a drop down and you can add or change the name from here as per your requirement as well as you can create a list sheet also if you want and you can put the assigned to name there and you can connect them from a range also but for now i'm connecting from directly i'm putting it from this range just click on done similarly here also select right click add the drop down so that is created you can use the advanced option to show the arrow here rather than chip just click on the arrow and same for this one also select this and then let's done this first then you can just uh, click on this part which is c2 c1 c21 just edit this and here come to the advanced part and select arrow done okay so it will take the less space now you can select it from here as you want for the dates uh, you can just select them and from the format first you can change the number formatting custom number formatting and uh, if let's say i want to take d m m m dash by 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 and apply okay that is already there apart from that you can select these two till the end right click and go to the drop down and here just uh, open this and just click on is valid date and done so the benefit of this is if you double click anywhere it will open that calendar and now you can select the date from a calendar this one is the formula so we can put end date minus start date okay rest data you have to enter so we have already done now you can enter at bottom as you want so this is our data sheet 
just increase the nodes column now we will create the dashboard also so let's rename this as dashboard and just move this here now we will create the header on the top so let's select from column a till column u till here and use merge cells and let's fill some dark color let's say i'm taking this one font i'm taking a font color this one font name i'm taking arial rounded size i'm taking around 25 or 30 and you can put the title here let's say i'm putting here project plan template and let's align this center and middle now let's reduce the width of the first column go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here reduce the row height of the row number two and here we will start creating our cards like we have created here so first we will create for the total task so we will select these two together then use merge cells and type here total task now we will create that bottom section also so what we will do we will select the range this range from row number four till row number eight and b and c column and use merge cells now we will format this so first select this one and the bottom one also first align this center and middle then we will go to the border and here we will take some thick border let's say this one and uh, take the color as white color this one and just say all borders now let's fill here some dark color so let's say i'm taking this color here font name i'll take this font color i'll take this one and take here this font and here i will fill the same theme color uh, so let's say i'm taking this color here and uh, font take arial and take size around uh, 40 and then we will use here some formula or we want to get the uh, task count so let's use count a this one go to the data and we can count the task name and just hit the enter so we have 20 tasks now let's change the color here so take this color so we have created similar to this okay now we will create for the total duration which is in the days so let's select this first and reduce this size slightly now copy this and you can paste this here so make the six card like this copy and paste here also Okay, so we have made six card now we will reduce the column width of the blank columns these select all using the control key and the mouse now reduce the column width okay so we can see all together now this will be total duration the next is the total estimated hours then this will be total actual hour then next we will take the average of these two so we can copy them in place of total let's take the average okay now we will put the formula and before that if you want to change the color of these you can change that otherwise if you want to keep one single theme you can keep that also so let's change the color we can take the some other color like uh, let's say here i'm taking this one and uh, i'm taking the light color of the same theme and the font color of the same similarly here also you can take the other one let's say i'm taking this one take here dark color this one and take here light color and take the same dark font color quickly i'm just uh, changing this okay so we have changed all the cards color now we will change the formula total duration will be sum of the duration column which is in the days so let's move to the upside and you can see this is column g and just enter so here you can put in the bracket 
in days okay and then here total duration in hours we can put the sum formula again sum and this time take the uh, estimated hours this one column j then total actual hours from column k so you can copy this formula and you can paste that here also and let's take the column k this time okay and uh, average estimated hours we will take the average of this column then average of this column for the actual so let's paste the same formula here and in place sum just uh, replace with average and just enter and here also you can copy this and let's paste take your column k all right so top cards are created now we will create the other charts also so what we have done here we have created a small chart for the task count by priority let's insert a chart here in the data so we will select the priority this column i and insert a chart let's change this chart to the donor chart customize make it 3d and uh, we can change the chart title also this is count by priority or task count by priority align this center take the size around 12 and make this bold and black and uh, move the legend or just remove the legend from here or you can move this to the bottom or right side so let's say i'm moving to the right or let's move to the bottom also now we can make this a smaller you can change the color also so you can just click here let's say for high i want to make in this color and for the medium i want to make in this color and for low let's say i want to make this color so you can decide what color you want to keep accordingly you can keep now just click here and copy chart and come to the dashboard you can paste that chart here and let's place this chart here and you can make this smaller if you want to add the data label you can just uh, edit the chart just double click and customize and pixelize pie chart and just show the values now it will show the values there so you can just move the legion just double click here move to the right hand side because we have the space to the right side and you can make this slightly bigger okay now we can make the copy of this and paste it here and quickly we will create the other charts also the next chart which we have created that is the uh, task count by status so just double click on that and let's see the task count here uh, the status here that is column h and just double click and take with the column h you can take the whole range till the 1000 and just enter so this is the task count by let's change this take here h1 and then enter okay this is the task count by status you can change the chart type if you want let's say i want to make this uh, pie chart so this is pie chart and you can make this 3d pie this is 3d pie you can move this to the bottom legend okay so this chart is also done now we can create this estimated hours by date line chart also so just make it a smaller copy and paste that here now double click on this first change the chart type and take here line chart this one and then we can change the range also so estimated hours by date so come to the data and take the start date range first till the end add another range and take these estimated hours this one till the end click on ok now this is start date estimated hours and it is taking count so let's take this sum here now we can make this bigger so just move to the right side and here also we can delete this 
just double click here and you can change the angle take around 30 and make it smaller also around 10 and just click on the line go to the customize and uh, chart style here just make it smooth line as well as we will add the uh, the markers also so go to the series and here point size take uh, 7 px you can change the color also let's say i'm taking this color so you can change that also okay so this is the estimated hours by date now we will create the other charts also so let's arrange this here the next chart which we have created that is estimated hours by team here you can add the data labels also just double click double click here then go to the series and scroll it down and you can add the data label let's make a copy of this and paste that here now we will create the estimated hours by team which we have created here so just double click and change the chart type as first take the bar chart this one then make this a smaller and we will change the range also we have taken this range here e in place of e we will take the team name so let's see in the data we can delete this chart now so team name is available on column d in place of e let's take the column d just double click setup and take here d just click on ok so we will change this here let's take the assign and here take the estimated hours it is automatically taking the sum now we will adjust this we can remove the grid lines just click uncheck the major grid lines and click in this area and make it smaller so we can see the whole name of the team and you can move here also change the color if you want just click here and you can take any color whatever you want let's say i'm taking this color or any color, other color this is estimated hours by team now we have created another chart that is estimated hours by task so we can make the copy of this and we can paste that here make this chart bigger and double click change the chart type as column chart and we will change the range also so we will take the task so task is available on the column b which is column b this one so just change the range also double click and set up and just take the column b here just click on ok now customize and chart style just make it 3d and you can change this estimated hours by task name all right friends so that is how we have created this project plan template you can use it to track your project friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching